morning guys my name is karma i'm a third year bsc product design student and today i'm going to be showing you guys what a day in my life is like as a student on placement so i'm going to be taking you guys to work with me and then you can see what life is like for me when i'm at the studio where i work and today is actually a very special day because today at work we are doing a workshop at ntu so you guys get a chance to see that as well you get to see my studio you get to see me doing a workshop at ntu so that's really exciting so i hope you guys enjoy what a day in my life as a placement student looks like Sarah. All right, guys, so I'm currently working on butterfly stuff, and Georgia is currently working on elephant stuff. All right, guys, so with the butterflies that I'm working on at the moment, we use cans to make those, like literally the cans that you drink Fanta and Coke out of, that's what we use to make those. As you can see in the studio, we have a bunch of different cans, like I'm talking hundreds and thousands of different cans and they're all organized in color we have the fresh cans over here and then on the side here we have where we keep our scraps and this is how we ensure that we maximize cans as much as possible and reduce waste this is sarah turner she's hi. my boss hi sarah <laughs> hello what would you say Sarah Turner Eco and Art and Design is and what's it like? So we make everything from rubbish, so we collect it from local homes and businesses and upcycle it into lovely new things, whether that be uh, an artwork or a flower or a sculpture that you can buy. Um, sometimes uh, companies commission us, so they'll give us their rubbish and ask us to make something amazing for them. Yeah, so I did uh, furniture and product design and I worked part-time in the coffee shop and people threw away loads of plastic bottles. I collect plastic bottles for my part-time job and tried to like, make something for my degree. And I first made these lights from plastic bottles. When I graduated, I'd put them in like a degree shows and stuff and people were saying, oh yeah, I'll buy one of them. And I thought, oh, maybe I should start a business and actually try and do that. Right now we're getting ready to go to NTU for our workshop. So we're packing everything up into the car and then we're heading off. So today has been a green forum at our city campus and it's just been a chance for the sustainability team, um, the local council and the SU representatives from to talk to students and staff about the sustainability strategies and then also we've been doing some really fun practical activities in the afternoon. This one's a bit more kind of colouring in, more therapeutic, quite chilled out. What you need to do is get a leather punch and you want two holes, one either side of it's Body. We actually make uh, jellyfish. What was your favorite part of today? My favorite part of today was teaching my um, curling iron technique to everybody. Well, hair straightening technique to everybody, but using it to curl the um, jellyfish. I think a lot of people really like that, and it was really fun to like invent a new technique, and hopefully we're gonna apply it to more projects moving forward. And how do you think placements in general will positively influence your studies? I honestly think that like sustainability, like I'm 10 times more passionate about it now than I was before. I have a better idea of what I wanna do with my final year project, because I know what I'm passionate about now, and I know how to approach it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing what a day in my life is like as a design student on placement. I would honestly 100% recommend a placement to any NTU student. The thing is, even if you don't love it, at least you get a realistic sense of what it is to work in the industry that you're interested in. And that's honestly priceless.